All right, let's get to Alphabet here, turning ticker on Yahoo Finance. AI announcements yesterday during its developers event. It's getting the street's attention. Goldman Sachs is feeling bullish, saying that the tech giant is now the, quote, lead collection of AI machine learning driven businesses. They are not the only one. A number of analysts weighing in on the announcements that we got yesterday from Google Evercore ISI saying that Google delivered in this year's I.O. against a mounting of hype and doubts here. They also went on to say that they have successfully proven that it will remain a leading player within the AI race. Stiefel pretty much in line saying the same thing, that they are encouraged by Google's ability to continually enhance its positioning across AI landscape. And this comes at a time when I think the criticism towards Alphabet has been that they have largely been viewed as a second player when it comes to Microsoft. Microsoft with the mm -hmm. OpenAI agreement clearly viewed as the biggest winner, biggest beneficiary so far, the leader within the AI race and Google largely viewed uh, as second in that line. And I think that that is starting to be debated now. It has been debated, I should say, actually for quite some time, but the announcements that we got yesterday reaffirming some of those doubters out there in the street and really Google solidifying its position within this race and where they see the business going over the next several years. It's really particularly interesting here, especially as Google or Alphabet had already experimented with what used to be Bard. It was Bard, then it got rebranded, now it's Gemini. And so there's even more investments that the company is putting forward as they've talked about on their earnings call as well, not just with the business to consumer element or application and how people are going to really feel the difference at the touch of their fingertips uh, of generative AI for their own productivity, but how companies, and especially thinking about the cloud services side of the Google businesses on Google Cloud, wherever they're able to overlay even more of their artificial intelligence or generative AI, you can almost kind of annex that more into how Salesforce is talking about layering that into their cloud, or Amazon Web Services is talking about layering it into their cloud services to supercharge some of the productivity and, and data connectivity as well for their clients. And so uh, it's just a question of what is the accurate multiple that, that the investors should assess on top of these companies as well going forward here. And, and I think as we get a gauge on what the exact spending looks like, that's when we'll get a little bit more of a clearer picture on that.